Well, good, good day. It's still the 10th of June, and this particular video is going to look at Series 0083 Police, Federal Police, and how their training compares to the academies of the state and local police. And again, as I said in a previous video, but if you haven't seen it, I'll give you a little rundown. There's three kinds of state and local training academies. There's like the regional academy that I have in my area. You know, the Rappahannock Regional Criminal Justice Academy. You can pay your own way if you wanted to go. If I wanted to go at age 61, you just pay them $5,000, you go through it. Um, you know, pretty much everybody's gonna make it because the people that run the academy, um, you know, they want to stay in the good graces of the sheriffs and the chiefs of police who send their recruits. Um, so, I mean, it's possible to fail, you know, but they're going to do everything in their power to help you, even though they're going to be strict about it. Okay. And then you get state certification. And then you have your large departments. They don't have any in Virginia that I'm aware of that they have their own academy. But like in Chicago, it has its own academy. The only way to be a Chicago police officer, you can have police ROTC at the university and get your state commission. It doesn't matter. You have to go to their academy. That's a little more strict because it's a closed system. They do their own hiring and they do their own training. And then you have the state police academies, which are the most strict. It's like military boot camp and they try to run you off, to be quite honest with you. They make your life miserable for six months five to six months. It's very long. It's very arduous. Um, and it's, it is what it is. Now with the federal police jobs, again, most of these are protective, but when you look at the Capitol Police, the Uniform Division of the Secret Service, okay, the Bureau of Indian Affairs Police, the VA Police, the Pentagon Police, the various Department of Defense Police, some of these are covered and some of them are not covered by the Special Retirement but they will send you to Glencoe, Georgia, where you go through a program that is put on by the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, a generalized police academy. Okay, so it's for anyone that is uh, going to be doing police work. It's about 13 weeks long. And it's, um, again, it's put on by the FLETC staff. Um, now, each agency has its own physical fitness test. You know, they're going to PT you. They're going to, you know, probably be very strict with you. Now, you live on base at, at Glencoe or Artesia, New Mexico, depending where you go. And, uh, you know, you live in the dorm seven days a week. But I think the academy staff, you know, they want you to pass, okay? Because if they fail out a lot of people, again, what's going to happen is you're going to have the Capitol Police, um, the Secret Service, all these people complaining that, you know, you flunked our recruits out because of Mickey Mouse stuff. So if they fail you, it's for a good reason, okay? And then after that, you go to follow-on training for your own um, academy. So what I'm going to do is put on, again, a short, uh, very short uh, slide thing, not because I love them, but it's just easier to see it if you see it, okay? Now, how do these compare to federal? Okay, again, federal training programs, you have to live at the academy seven days a week because you're far from home. Um, they expect higher academic and physical preparation. And of course, they can be a little bit more selective in hiring. So now what I'm gonna look at first is the federal series 0083, which is the police series. And this covers everything that says police in it in the federal USA jobs. And what they have at FLETC at Glencoe is a class called Uniform Police Training Program. And it's similar to a regional police training academy. The, the goal here is to provide common skills for all police. And that includes Bureau of Indian Affairs, they do them out in Artesia, New Mexico. The DOD police, they do them at, at Glencoe. The Capitol Police, the US Secret Service Uniform Division, they go to Glencoe. And you go through a 16 week course and they're gonna give you a basic uniform. Um, and of course, I think it's similar to re regional police academies except for the fact that you live there for the duration of your training. I think the academic and physical demands are similar to that of regional police academies. Uh, again, they, they can't run a lot of people off and here's why. Uh, again, FLETC is a training facility that receives trainees from a variety of agencies. 
And if they run off too many people, they're going to anger those agencies. And people are going to pitch a bitch. And they're going to get rid of the people who run these academies. Okay, so they're going to be strict, you know, but it's not going to be boot camp. They don't care if your bunk is made up. I mean, you live in a, a dorm, and they actually come by, I think, and clean your dorms. They have cleaning ladies, believe it or not. So, you know, it's not like you're going to the state police academy. And you just wear a basic, uh, this is an example. These are Defense Department police officers in training at Glencoe. You can see, you know, they give them a, a, a functional uniform, but it's not, you know, is your brass shined or your boots ripped? You know, there weren't all different kinds of... You, know, you got to have shorter hair and that kind of thing. But it's this is not, you know, we're going to run you ragged. They want you to pass, okay? That's, that's the biggest thing. They want you to pass. They have a lot to provide in a little bit of time. And this is just a list of it, you know, and it's uh, officer safety, communications and interviewing, law, criminal law, arrest techniques, terrorism, firearms, how to carry your gun going home from Glencoe on a plane, driver training, that's an interesting one, and the physical fitness. And remember, everybody who got into these passed a PT test sponsored by their agency. And FLETC does have a standard in and of itself, but it's not a very high standard. So if you're able to get in the agency, you're going to pass this, I believe, unless you just don't want to do it. Now it's Fletzy Plus because after this, you go to specialized training. And that is uh, much longer, uh, or it's just as long or almost as long. The Capitol Police have to go to Cheltenham, Maryland. And uh, then they go through Capitol Police training after you've gone to Fletzy in Glencoe. So Fletzy is also in Cheltenham, uh, but it's just the. Capitol Police. And this one, they're going to be after you for your uniform. They'll issue you uniforms and it's uniform standards. And um, But again, by this time in your career, you've already been through 16 weeks of training and they've been paying you for a long time. So they probably don't want to run a lot of people off. I think, you know, it'll be more of a mentoring type of thing. And the Secret Service the Uniform Divisions, they go to 14 weeks at Laurel, Maryland. And... Um, you know, they, they teach you how to wear the uniform and how to do protective stuff with regards to the White House, um, the executive mansion for the uh, vice president, and so on and so forth. Now, other uniform police courses, okay? The Park Police have a 18-week course at Glencoe. The VA Police, it's a 10-week course at Little Rock, Arkansas. And again, I don't think that these are a whole lot different than a regional or municipal police academy, except that you live on campus, okay? So this is all I'm going to um, talk about right now with regards to the uniform police so that this video isn't too long. The second one I'm gonna do is on CBP and the Border Patrol. And then the third one I'm going to do is on the Special Agent Academies, okay? Okay, and that's it with the, uh, the various police uh, so you can see that there's the different types, but again, a lot of uh, federal police, it, it's again, it's protective work. Um, probably the most police oriented kind of job that they have would be like the Bureau of Indian Affairs, where you gotta go around on the reservation and do general police work. But most of it is security work, but they put you through a police academy. The next one I'm gonna do is the two, uh, Homeland Security uniformed uh, agencies that are most well known, the Customs and Border Protection Officers and the Border Patrol Agents, because uh, there are very big differences in their academies.